track consists in sailing using your body as a board, and we must be able to do it down and upwind, that is, in favor and against the wind. It is very important to dominate this technique as we use it very often to get the board back when we lose it because of a fall, to go away from dangerous zones with rocks or swimmers around us, or to return to the, to the beach after a wind drop. Body drag technique varies depending on your course navigation. So we are going to explain the body drag technique going upwind, downwind and straight downwind. However, we will make more emphasis on body drag upwind, that is the more technical and important. So the best we must dominate. First of all, we should know the wind direction, but sometimes it can be difficult in the water. To know it, we can put the kite at 12 o'clock, this way its center strut will show the wind direction. Catch the bar with both hands, pulling from it until the kite stops flaming, keeping the kite stable at 2 o'clock to go to the right or at 10 o'clock to go to the left. Put your bar in a horizontal position forward, pointing to the kite, leaving your legs behind you. Catch the bar with both hands pulling from it until the kite stops flaming and move the kite doing eights between 1 and 11 o'clock. Put your bar in a horizontal position forward, pointing to the kite, leaving your legs behind you. If we want to go to the left, catch the middle of the bar with your right hand and keep the kite stable at 10 o'clock. Put your body in a horizontal position side, like Superman, with your arms stretched in line with your body, pointing to the direction you want to go, with an angle of 90-120 degrees, respect the wind direction. 1. If your body points to the kite, you will go downwind. You need to turn your body to go upwind. If you try to go too much upwind, you will go downwind, as it's not possible to go straight against the wind. Remember that your body should have a maximum angle of 120 degrees to respect the wind direction. 3. To move the kite up and down will bring you downwind. Remember that the kite should stay stable at 2 or 10 o'clock at all times. 4. If your body is not completely straight or you are moving yourself all the time, you will not go upwind. 5. If you put your bar in a vertical position, you will lose speed and will not go upwind. 1. If you look at the kite, it should be low without flaming. 2. If you look at the lines, your body should have an angle of 45 to 60 degrees, respect the lines. 3. If you want to check if you are going upwind, look for a reference in the beach to check if you are going upwind or not. You can also check if you are going upwind, being aware of your speed. You can start doing body drop downwind and trying to change your direction gradually upwind. You will see that you have the same speed until one point when you start losing speed. At this time, you must reduce the angle of your body, respect the wind, and see that your speed increases again. That is the way to go up. 1. To do body drag, you must put your body straight in a horizontal position forward, pointing to the direction you want to go, leaving your legs behind you. 2. We will only have our body in a vertical position when the kite is at 12 o'clock to change direction, to relaunch the kite, or to put your feet on the board. 3. When we do body drag downwind or straight downwind, we catch the bar with both hands with our body pointing to the kite. To go downwind, we leave the kite stable at 2 or 10 o'clock, and if we're going to go straight downwind, move the kite doing eight from 1 to 11 o'clock. 4. If we want to go upwind, Catch the middle of the bar with one hand and keep the kite stable at 2 or 10 o'clock. Your body in a horizontal position side like Superman with your arm and body stretched in line pointing to the direction you want to go with an angle of 90 to 120 degrees, 
respect the wind direction and check you are not losing speed. Check it. 